Hi, and welcome back to Alt Baking Bootcamp. I'm Mia Rigdon, nutritionist, chef, and the founder of Rasa. Today, we're making an apple crisp. Traditionally, apple crisp is a layer of apples with a crispy oat sugary mixture on top. We're gonna be baking our apple crisp in a skillet, which I love the presentation of, and I also feel like it just makes it super easy. This recipe today is gluten-free, refined sugar-free, and vegan. Shall we start? Okay, so this recipe goes pretty quick. I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees and I'm gonna start by peeling and slicing the apples. You know, when I was testing this recipe out, I thought it might be fun to leave the peel on the apple, but there's just something about the peel that kind of messed with the whole flavor of the thing. So we're taking it off. And we're using Granny Smith apples today, which is the traditional apple that you would use in an apple crisp or an apple pie. Granny Smith apples are a little bit more tart, which I like, and they're firm. They don't get mealy like some other apples, so I feel like they hold for cooking really well. I am going to cut these into slices and make sure not to have any of the core in there. I experimented with both like little chunks and slices and I decided I think I like the slices better. Just like that. Another thing I like about this recipe is that we're just using one bowl. All right, so our apples are chopped and in the bowl. I'm just gonna get a little squeeze of lemon. Lemon. Thank you. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon in here. And this is so that the apples don't oxidize and turn brown. All right, so now we're gonna throw the spices in. We are going with half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom, which I just love the fragrance of cardamom, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger and a tablespoon of coconut sugar. Now we're gonna mix this all together. Make sure all the spices and the sugar are evenly coating all the apples. Good mix. All right, this looks good to me. So I've got my cast iron skillet right here and I'm just going to spread the apples on an even layer in the skillet. No oil. Just get them as even as you can. It's not that big of a deal. All right, now I've got two tablespoons of water, which is gonna help the apples steam in the oven. I'm just gonna pour this directly on top. I'm gonna put my apples to the side while we make the topping. Let's start with these dry ingredients. So we've got one cup of almond flour. We've got a cup and a half of regular oats, not the quick cooking oats. And then we've got a quarter of a cup of crushed pecans and more spices. We're gonna go with another half teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a good sprinkle of salt. And now for the wet ingredients. So I made a flax egg, which we have done many times here on All Baking Boot Camp. So it's just a tablespoon of ground flax with three tablespoons of water. The traditional recipe calls for butter and a lot more sugar, which is going to help bind the recipe. Since we're not using any butter or very much sugar in this recipe, I wanna have some stickiness. So for the stickiness, we're using the flax egg, which is gonna help bind the crispy top, and brown rice syrup, which is a really sticky, low glycemic sweetener. So I'm just gonna add the flax egg in here. And then we've got a quarter of a cup of olive oil. Mix it. And then two tablespoons of the brown rice syrup. So the only sugar in this recipe is the one tablespoon of coconut sugar with the apples and then the, these two tablespoons of brown rice syrup. So it's really a very low sugar recipe. So there's one, and you can see like, this is really sticky stuff. Now I'm just gonna mix this together really well, and it's gonna start to feel like dough almost. All right, so that's nice and sticky, all mixed together. So I'm gonna get my apples back out, and I realized that I totally forgot to put the raisins in there. So I'm just gonna sprinkle them on top now. When you're making this at home, mix the raisins in with the apples and the spices, but I'm just gonna sprinkle them on top. And I'm just going to spread our oat topping evenly on top of the apples. 
I love this crispy topping so much that I feel like I want to turn it into a granola bar recipe. It's so good. All right, so our apple crisp is ready to go in the oven. As I mentioned, the oven is already at 350 degrees and we're gonna bake this for about 45 to 50 minutes. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. The top is nice and golden brown. It smells amazing and I think we're ready to eat it. I portioned myself a little bit of apple crisp to try, complete with a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream, and I'm ready to dig in. All right. Oh my God, that's so good. The apples are really well cooked, nice and moist. I love the Granny Smith apples here because they still have some tartness, and the crisp holds together really well. So that's thanks to the flax egg and the brown rice syrup that we used, but it's Really good. To be honest, I'd maybe eat this for breakfast. So good. <laughs> Without the ice cream or with. <laughs> I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this apple crisp. It's honestly one of my favorite recipes that we've done for Alt Baking Bootcamp. So any comments, please let us know below. And don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube page so you don't miss an episode of Alt Baking Bootcamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this apple crisp and we'll be back soon.